Welcome to the show. Uh, we'll get to know them better uh, as the show goes on. Uh, our guest on the Whiskey Brothers this week, uh, popping yeah. in for all things Whiskey Brothers, uh, Sarah Talamash Hi. is with us. Uh, across the table, an old friend in Houston comic, Brian Hersey. And directly to my right, uh, a new friend and a, a former guest on the Whiskey Brothers, Grady Pruitt. Uh, not in basketball uniform. I appreciate you dressing up. Uh, <laughs> this is important <laughs> to me, man. It's, yeah. it's good to see you. Uh, it's and good I wore basketball shorts last night. You know what I mean? You yeah, you gotta spr- go back to back. spread them out. Uh, right. So we, we, you have a couple of drinks in front of you, and uh, I raise a glass to start the show. Uh, yeah. We're gonna get into topic A first and foremost. We had uh, we had some options this week. We could have gone with Ethiopian Civil War. We could have gone with fishing boats in Britain mad at the French, but we didn't. We went with Facebook. Facebook has made a a new change. They're now called the parent company is now called Meta. They said on Thursday a rebrand that focuses on what they call the metaverse, uh, which will be a shared virtual environment that they think is going to be the successor to uh, what's going on on the internet right now. Um, I, s- I assume you guys read the article. I assume you guys are <laughs> somewhat up to speed. Uh, do, do you pay attention to what's going on with Facebook in general? Is it the future where they're headed? What's uh, what's happening, Sarah? I don't know. I just read headlines, and then I assume <laughs> what the article is about. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I'm going to try to do my best here. <laughs> But I love a rebranding. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like anytime I'm going to eat shit on stage, I'm going to just change my name right <laughs> afterwards <laughs> and pretend <laughs> it never Genius. happened. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can't just erase <laughs> everything. Yeah. <laughs> that's I'm going to go back and change my high school yearbook photo because yeah. I don't like what I was wearing. That's <laughs> if this goes poorly, my name is Doug Dalton. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be very clear. <laughs> <laughs> you should do a video about how you're going to rebrand yourself. And mm. it's the the new wave of the future you think that's coming do you think they're gonna they're gonna slowly roll out uh their uh, was facebook gonna be inundated with with videos and advertising for what facebook's gonna become are we gonna have to weed through all that now i have no idea yeah what's uh what's what's coming with the metaverse brian the metaverse oh no i thought i I didn't i wasn't even sure it was the metaverse i thought it was like an old vaudeville uh saying i never met a sucker i didn't like i thought they pulled it from (laughs) that you know (laughs) We are suckers. Right. I don't know. Oh, yeah, and uh, Mark Zuckerberg, he's changing his name, too. It's Meta Zuckerberg. Meta uh, Zuckerberg? Yeah, and it's going to be Meta, Metaberg, and then Meta, Meta, Meta. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, he's going to hire he's gonna hire John Cleese to go around and <laughs> sing the spam song to Meta, Meta, Meta. <laughs> that last one is one of Elon Musk's kids. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, how about you, Grady? Um... I think Facebook changed its name to Metaverse. It's kind of like if the Weinstein Company changed its name to Metaverse. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's how I feel about it. Uh, it's just weird to me that a company that started out, you know, as innocently as stalking women at Harvard, <laughs> has turned into something so evil. <laughs> like I can't, be- yeah. I can't believe it. It just started out so good. Yeah, it started um, out by. No, I, I do. Women. I do like how the HR team is taking the same approach to uh, save face that uh, Ron Artest took after the malice in the palace <laughs> <laughs> to change your name to Meta. <laughs> <laughs> meta World Peace. Yeah, that's the new one, the World Peace Metaverse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Meta World Peace is like, hey, that's my name. Doesn't <laughs> it mean beyond? Right, like so, Bed Bath and Meta. Meta, <laughs> like it's. It also <laughs> me, it also means a joke you're kind of uh, like uh, in on. What is yeah. the, there's well, like a, a zeitgeist a thing or something? Yeah, in it's meta. like if you're bad at comedy, <laughs> you, <laughs> yeah. you do meta comedy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Meta comedy. Yeah. It's, it's the alt Facebook. Yeah, I yeah. got you. Um, there we go. That is uh, I- unless anybody has another thought to add to that. That's what we're. That's the future we're all facing. So yes. we, we we will see what it looks like we'll all get our <laughs> meta pages uh let's get to know you guys um i feel like i know everyone but the guests don't uh maybe they do maybe they don't let's start with you grady you're the youngest uh, comic on the dais tell them about yourself uh yeah my name's uh grady pruitt uh the house mc at brad garrett's comedy club <laughs> in vegas <laughs> it's a big big deal for me Good uh, on you. that's yeah no and then um <laughs> I'm on Skankfest this weekend. I got the very coveted 2 p.m. outdoor show. Uh, nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. It was between me and Tim be. Dillon, and I beat him out. So <laughs> <laughs> don't see me there at 2 p.m. You probably <laughs> don't need to show up. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. They Empty. won't notice. <laughs> you could yeah. just skip your spot and demand your check. And yeah. you, know what's you got the credit. You could. Just say you were there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm on two shows, Friday and Sunday. They're both at 2 p.m. I get it. <laughs> 
and then your job is to skip both of those and tell yeah. them, yeah, I was on the third stage. Yeah, yeah. I'll know. be like, you he guys. was so good. I didn't even think the seat room's open at 2 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to open it. set on the fucking sidewalk. Is your job to change the sign? What are you doing? I don't know. 2 p.m. Uh, secret group, Friday and Saturday. <laughs> Friday and Sunday. Come on, man. On, I'm sorry. On both <laughs> stages at yeah. the same time, Grady Pruitt. Yeah. <laughs> uh, where can they find you on social? I'll ask again later. At Pruitt Grady on Instagram, Twitter, all the shit, you know? Easy to find. Pruitt yeah. Grady. Uh, across the table from him, Sarah. How Hi. Tell them what they don't know about you. All right. Hi, I'm Sarah Thomas. I'm 43 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Scorpio. I'm a Scorpio. I love refreshing apps all day long and comparing myself to others, and occasionally <laughs> I write jokes. <laughs> <laughs> In between all the important yeah. stuff. <laughs> That's and uh, Brian Hersey. Yeah, I'm Brian Hersey. Uh, I was born in Rochester, New York. Grew up here in Houston. Was part of the uh, laugh stop crowd back in the old day when we met back then. Uh, went and lived on the side of a mountain for 15 years, and now I'm back. That's uh, that's perfect. I didn't <laughs> realize you were a New Yorkian, New Yorker, New Yorker. Roche, Roche, yeah, Rochester, Rochester, yeah, Rochester, Rochester. Yeah, I don't know. Nice. Yeah. When did you move here? I didn't know that. It was when I was five. Okay, yeah. so it counts. Yeah. 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 yeah, I went to U of that's H. All my schooling was here U in uh, Houston. So. Okay, and so you're, you're like a Texan. I guess I'm a yeah. Houstonian. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah Houstonian. that counts. And you're native. I'm not native, but I grew up here. You grew up here. Yeah. Where were you born? I was born in South Africa. Oh, that's, that's right. That's right. Yeah. I can't completely yeah. forget oh, that. Shit. We didn't even touch on that last yeah. night. Yeah. Like yes. Way more African than Trey. We yeah. didn't even get into that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're here, though. <laughs> um, and then, Grady, are you native? I am. I grew up here in Houston. I've been here my whole life, but uh, I'm, I'm I'm moving to New York in two weeks. So uh, yeah, this is there's a whole there's a whole New York theme going on here. Yeah. Formerly from there, yeah. currently from there, futurely from yes. there. I, I've been once. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> the South Africa thing reminded me of uh, one of Dale Cheeseman jokes where he talked about go being born in South Africa, but he's not black. But he's like, uh, me and black people do have one thing in common. Uh, we both love white bitches. <laughs> 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 That's a Dale cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I butchered it. But yeah, or it's a Grady joke that you're blaming on Dale. No, yeah. I, it's Dale. Uh, <laughs> let's apparently, me and Dale look kind of similar. Yeah, I can so, see it. So sometimes, like, Someone would like be like, "Oh, dude, you're funny," and then they'd quote a Dale Cheeseman bit to yeah, me, yeah. and I would just own it. But yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> and then apparently, I I told him that and he said the same thing had happened to him before. Yeah, <laughs> like it's I had when I back when I was living in Beaumont, uh, embarrassingly, but my I had a bartender at my comedy club who had long hair, and it was back after I had just cut my hair, and frequently he would get stopped. We would get stopped as being each other, and the difference was people would try to fight him, but they would buy me beers. It was a very, very lopsided. Yeah. Yeah. I was getting all the benefit out of that. I'm going to murder this cup, fucking man. Up. There you go. Oh, oh, you, oh that nice. was... That yeah. was sad. Let's just wow, do that. that on <laughs> what y'all got for segment three? <laughs> yeah, <that was> sh <laughs> I led. Uh, we're gonna stomp on a bunny. Segment head. three yeah. is killing small animals. <laughs> Brian, we're <laughs> gonna start with you. What are we doing? Uh, no, we're doing good idea, bad idea. Good idea, bad idea. Uh, every. Uh, where do I want to start on this one? Um, let's let's start with you, Brian. All let's right, you're right I across the table. Yeah, I mean, let me explain the prompt. Okay. Um, because. We did this before. We did this on a podcast before, and we did it in quadrants, and it was it was more complicated than it is now. And we've simplified it. It's now just bad ideas that sound good and good ideas that sound bad. Yeah. That's what we're down to. I still uh, struggled with it. I, wrote, I did like a stream of consciousness thing where I just tried to write, you know, things that seems like uh, – <laughs> they could go. They could go sideways. You know? <laughs> Let's just get into it. <laughs> <laughs> Start I'm streaming. I'm let Sarah lead on this. <laughs> <one>. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Wait. Oh, are you oh, going no, first? No, no, no. 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 Yeah, stream right, on. Yeah. I was letting yeah. her host. Yeah. No. Yeah. She yeah. was just doing a All right. huge yeah, so prompt. Yeah. <laughs> Both of us were like, yes, and. <laughs> So, I mean, yeah, so I mean, you had the ideas like laser eye surgery and stuff like that. I went swing with the sharks, using an Olive Garden gift card. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, slow down, slow down, slow down. Swimming with sharks. Yeah, swimming with sharks, That's using a good an idea. Olive Garden these are, gift These card. are good ideas that sound. I'm not sure. <laughs> Okay. You know, I mean, no, they turn out bad. Like the olive cart, like I got food poisoning. <laughs> That's certainly a bad idea that sounds good. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, yeah. yeah, I got a free meal, but then, you know, you shit yourself for two days. <laughs> yeah. No, I like this. Make the audience do the work. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like fill to do mic. it all for you? Come yeah, on. Yeah. <laughs> I said the words, you put them together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sure some of these work out. Yeah. Standing up for an elderly woman on a subway. 
uh-huh. buying Neapolitan ice cream. Oh, that's always horrible. Inve- yeah. Investing oh, in I don't like yourself. my flavors mixed in like that. No, it yeah, always sounds like it's good for indecisive. I'm sorry we're cutting you off. Yeah. But we're, we're yeah. <laughs> it, it always sounds like a good move for an indecisive person, but it also just ends up being with a bunch of strawberry vanilla shoved in back yeah. in the yeah. fridge. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. It's just the fucking uh, Just get strawberry. chocolate, you fat yeah. fuck. I know what <laughs> I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Timeshares in a whorehouse. Oh, that is that yeah. sa- that's that does a good that, idea. It's well, I'm not sure. That's <laughs> <laughs> I don't know either. We're gonna need to investing try investing in yourself. I don't know. Oh, here's a good one. Thinking one dog towel in the rest of the laundry with the towels isn't gonna hurt. But oh, then, but then you pull it out, everything smells like a wet graham cracker, man. Boy, that like goes one dog towel. That goes for a lot of different towels. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I call it the dog towel. <laughs> <laughs> I think that happened to my laundry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, did you guys dry this with cat turds in the dryer? This is awful. I know. Yeah, one turd will fuck it up. Yeah. I live alone. I have no pets. It's very hard to explain to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Asking a palm reader if they do happy endings <laughs> sounds like a great idea. Doesn't work out too well. <laughs> it does sound Every good. once in a while, though, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, very, what? yeah, very low scrup- low morals. That's yeah. the but you're you're gonna find that accidental one out of ten. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah it's a not? numbers game. It's Twenty five extra. Houston is the capital though of sex trafficking palm readers. <laughs> that is yeah. a true yeah. thing it's about a, Houston. Where they meet yeah. up. It's Little known motto. fact. Yeah. 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 Well, I, I'm assuming palm reading is what you do after you sex traffic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's your it's your the, retiree yeah. it's the job. Retirement job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> you've seen a lot of shit. It's yeah. The same it's a pipeline. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> same Chinese lady. Yeah. yeah. No, no palms. Yeah. I don't know. I got uh, I got more. Yeah, uh, keep it yeah, up. I wasn't going to stop you. No, well, I mean, somebody needs to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, what was it? Uh, purch- purchasing anything from the side of the road. Oh, including oh, like yeah. swords and shrimp. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, nothing, nothing's ever gonna. That's come like out, a real though. life Instagram ad. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Where you're like, this is cheap shit, but in real life. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but on the side of the road, it becomes special. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, w- I was driving through Oklahoma. Uh, they got my favorite Burger King there, and uh, <laughs> as I was driving to Oklahoma, they had a, uh, they had a flag store, and you know they have like legal weed in Oklahoma. So the only two flags they had were like 420 weed flags and Confederate flags, <laughs> <laughs> which was nice the combo. only totally two chill. flags. Totally yeah. chill. Yeah. And somebody's putting a Kickstarter together for yeah. combination yeah. weed yeah. and yeah. Confederate flags. Confederate I, 420. I, I just like the idea of someone like getting high for the first time and becoming more racist. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. You get high and you're like, yeah. we need a fucking wall. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that's great paranoia. Jim, I thought of 12 different ways we could hate colored people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it opens up your creativity, spigot. <laughs> <laughs> Bigot. Uh, <laughs> any more on the on the list? Nothing of any value. Investing in yourself. That's I what like I that. I appreciate I your like that. Candor, Brian. Fourth down. We're not going for <laughs> it. <laughs> we're gonna punt this one away. <laughs> I'll put I'll put the rest of them up on Discord. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you're you're up. That's uh, all right. Let's go across the table. Uh, Sarah Talamash. All uh, right. <laughs> uh, good ideas that sound bad. Uh, escape room businesses in small towns. There you go. <laughs> 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 because I'm like, what? Why? Do you, first of all, you don't need to have this business here. Maybe a library would be good. And then, like, <laughs> also, <laughs> the town is the escape room. Like, yeah. how the fuck do I get out of this town? Right, you just got to go to college or follow a dream. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're like, we don't know. We have an opiate crisis yeah. going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> the escape room should be a highway. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't. Every time I see an escape room business in a small, <laughs> shitty town, I get so depressed. Yeah. <laughs> and you know the effort that goes into the clues has to be half-assed. Because oh I've seen their pizzeria. <laughs> <laughs> it's awful. They still have boxes they haven't put away. <laughs> it's so depressing to me. I'm like, get your shit together. <laughs> <laughs> they do, I, as someone from a small town, I was I mercifully escaped before they it's started hard. doing the escape room. It was, it was uh, honest to God, if you just did an escape room in a small town and everything you did led you to the plant, yeah. that would be more more realistic yeah yeah <laughs> it's just like nine <laughs> out of ten things you do end up with a job at the plant <laughs> absolutely <laughs> so, uh, what else is a good idea that sounds bad or a bad idea that sounds good actually all right this i'll do a few more good idea bad ideas because i only have two bad ideas that sound good okay 
I think wearing masks in Starbucks is so... Po- I have not had a coffee order that's been right since <laughs> COVID. <laughs> and I feel like nobody's talking about this. <laughs> I'm like, let's just put them away. Because it's two people. One's delivering the message. One's receiving it between a glass. And then they don't even repeat it back. Every time they repeat it back, I'm like, sure. And Why it's not? Starbucks, who is notorious for not hearing what you tell them, Absolutely. even when they can see your face. Yeah. I just said Slade. Why am I Blade or yeah. Slade? Yeah. Blade's cool, or, though. It, yeah, Blade, <laughs> Blade is cool, but it rarely ends up Blade. It ends up yeah. Blade Sad. or Slave <laughs> or Sade. Yeah. yeah oh, I like Sade. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I like her, too. I don't like my having to answer my coffee order with yeah. her. Yeah. It's probably Double a s- mocha. smooth, yes. smooth <laughs> operator. <laughs> um... <laughs> I just like oh, I just found out like if you I, they have a lottery app on your phone, but you still have to go to the business to pick up your earnings or your winnings. Where I'm like, if I wanted to work hard, I would have just done a nine to five job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have to go get this money. I know, like it should just Venmo directly into your account from your winnings. A hundred percent. This business going back to the store to get it. That's is not why. That's to me. not why yes. I bought a lottery ticket. No. <laughs> I know, I don't want to work. I, right, and you, you, you haven't picked up the money yet, so you can't even pay a servant to go get it for you. Yeah, no. yeah. It's, that's exactly the first right. step you have to take a loan. That's yeah. so, you're they right. clearly do not know their audience. <laughs> um, all right, I'll do two more, and then I'll go in. Uh, savings account, what's the point? <laughs> <laughs> what? It's so embarrassing that this is even a feature at banks, because they'll just be like... Oh, if you give us five hundred dollars and then at a point oh five percent interest rate, <laughs> we can get you five extra dollars at the end of the year. And you're like, what the fuck <laughs> am I supposed to do with five extra dollars? Like, yeah. I can't even get a greeting card to congratulate myself. <laughs> <on> that. <laughs> and I found I, there's more passive income on the streets <laughs> <laughs> or in bars than there are in a savings. I've made more money finding it on the floor <laughs> than in a savings account. Like, just get rid of it. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> it's only there so I have a thing to go to to transfer money to my checking yeah, account. Yeah, uh, just move, <laughs> move savings over to checking. Move savings. Yeah. Over. Eventually, the eventually no the more savings. <laughs> that's, how they, that's how they get you to open the app. Yeah. Yeah, just, yeah they're doing it for ads. It's dollars. embarrassing. <laughs> I, I feel like the, the bank people are like, please don't make me tell what this <laughs> plan is. It's awful. Um, Scam. Panera Bread. <laughs> Okay. D- Panera Bread is if you love air f- airplane food, but you hate to fly. <laughs> <laughs> it's the s- most soulless food I've ever met, like eaten in my entire <laughs> life. It's so depressing to me. They have. Do you know about their secret menu? It no. has flavor. No, yeah. <laughs> Can I get the flavor menu? <laughs> They're awful. They hide it in the back. It's that spongy, bready kind of. I don't yeah. know what they're serving. It's yeah. yeah. There's it just. It's like it was made in Chernobyl. Like it's, it's <laughs> like Chernobyl. There's no soul to it. It's no, just it's like <laughs> it looks like food, and then when you eat it, it like shut, crumbles. Shut up and take package for yeah. nourishment. <laughs> it is. Like we'll we'll <laughs> make body better for fighting. No. Yeah. Or wrestling bear. Your food or will fall off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's awful. Like it's waiting for water to be added to it. Yeah. Yes, yes, I'm with you. Uh, <laughs> all right, so bad ideas sound that sound good. Ranch with pizza. Ugh. It's you'll die. But, but it's yeah. so fucking good. Oh yeah. It's so good. That's an underrated condiment. Yeah. And then this Ranch. one's like a uh joining Scientology and I just think it would be fun just to see if I have the emotional strength to leave it. Don't you mean, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like doing a 30 day cult challenge mm-hmm. being like, I think how hard can this be to get in the cult and, and get out? Cause it's pretty fucking wacky. You know, you know what uh, I mean? Yes. I've, I've thought that I've thought that before with like certain drugs where I'm like, yeah. I want to do heroin just to see if I could get off of it. Yeah. 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 I think that's, it's like, sounds months fun. Later. it's like sitting through a timeshare pitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can get to the end. You what get to meet time. Tom Cruise. Yeah, I guess. That, that sounds pretty <laughs> awesome. And then you tap out. Yeah. Like, I'm always like, why is it so hard to leave? It's I, I'm actually curious. Yeah, that's we should all join a cult and see who can keep their hand on the car. The yeah. Longest. Yeah. Well, I get that way with like e- every week when I read the news, there's always one teacher like female that's hot. That's fucked her students. And I'm like, I bet you it's harder than you think it is. <laughs> I bet you I'm like, I could probably teach high school. And the next thing you know, I'm like, I'm fucking all the kids. There's <laughs> 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 I, uh, all of them. Even the, even the little oh dumpy one. Well, yeah, because you're, you, you I, I they probably the give you attention that you're not receiving. There's yeah. I, I saw a news article where one was doing a gangbang with her students, <laughs> and she was smoking. And I was like, that's the most confident kid ever. Not only is he fucking his teacher, but he's like, 
oh, do you think we get Tyler involved in this? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, yeah. like, he's like, not, it's not enough for him. Like a right? class project. project. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo, it's not fun unless my homies can hop in. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Wow. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, those are my goods and bads. That's a, well, I want to join a cult now. Sarah Talamash <laughs> yeah, with goods and bads. Grady, it's on you. Okay, so these are good ideas that sound bad. Uh, I wrote down benevolent pedophile. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> I don't know if I did this segment right. <laughs> aren't they, aren't, I mean, don't they all think they're benevolent? Yeah. You know, I mean, I gave them candy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we may revisit this one after you're done. <laughs> okay. Okay. I wrote down uh, getting divorced. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> an idea that sounds bad. Uh, okay, this is another Strong. swing. Uh, Jeffrey Epstein estate sale. Uh, <laughs> and then I wrote down uh, being Chinese. Uh, it's like, <laughs> yeah. It's like, is that I don't, sounds good, but so isn't good. It's funny to me. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's meta. Uh, it's meta. <laughs> 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 <A> little piece. <laughs> <laughs> These are all meta. I'm gonna let the pedophile one go. I don't want to know more. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank God. I don't explain myself. Yeah. Uh, okay. Bad <laughs> ideas that sound good. Uh, this segment. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know how to do this at all. Uh, 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 gay conversion therapy. You know what I mean? Because you're like, oh, it's therapy. You know? yeah. uh, <laughs> something. Something good's gotta come yeah, out. Yeah. Yeah. Turns out it's not good. <laughs> uh, and then I wrote Kuwagenti album recording. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love personal shades. I know. That's, they don't even care. Just write on the show. Uh, <laughs> I'm moving in two weeks. Who gives a shit? Hey, I fuck all know, these people. You're going to be oh, back oh in God. four months. So. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do a Burning Bridges segment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, segment four. Uh, people Grady wants to say shit to on his way <laughs> out the door. Exactly. Yeah. It's a two-hour episode. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, but the upside is only one of you has to go. So. <laughs> yeah. I have a Facebook post I've written out. I haven't <laughs> is it set Here's to trigger? Really feel trigger uh, upon your death to yeah. t- get yes. posted. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, let's roll into segment four before Grady hits someone else in the scene. Uh, <laughs> uh, somebody's asking. Trey is producing. He's in the back. Uh, we love him. Trey Tutson and Jerry Wayne Longmar running stuff. Uh, we also got Will Loden and Ben Daniel. So it's a full room full of uh, Houston comedy tonight. As we roll into segment four, what's your excuse? This one always uh, is fun. You guys are rela- you're writing excuses uh, for various scenarios. Uh, we've given each one of you a different one. We're going to start with you, Grady, because you went last on that first one. Um, you are moving to New York. Yes. As we have covered. You're bringing a lot of stuff with you. On the drive, though, you get pulled over. I assume you're driving with your stuff. The cops find a large locked suitcase in the trunk. They ask you to open it. You, you tell them absolutely no. Uh, what's your excuse? Uh, oh, don't open that. Uh there's uh, Hillary's emails are in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's been back there a while. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've been planning the move. Uh, <laughs> it's a long thing. Okay. Um, uh, you can't open that. Uh, I have Gallagher's last watermelon in there. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> please don't open it's it. Freeze dried. Uh, <laughs> are you going to make it to New York in an 89 Accord? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's my favorite comic. Uh, <laughs> And then this is the last one. Um, uh, no, you can't open that. Uh, it's a portrait of the Prophet Muhammad. In there. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> that my children made. Yeah. The it's macaroni. A, yeah. It's a turkey hand Muhammad. <laughs> it's a turkey hand. That's adorable. Yeah. <laughs> that's oh my so God. sweet. Yeah. Oh, my God. I think that should be allowed to be drawn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is this airing? <laughs> yeah. <You're right. laughs> that, that's my favorite so far. Uh, let's go <laughs> across the table to Brian. Uh, you are pretty sure your neighbor forgot to give back some lawn equipment he borrowed. Uh, yes. That might be a stretch. I don't know. You notice that he left his garage door open one day. You sneak across. You walk in to check your mid-look when his car pulls into the driveway. Uh, so I come up with excuses. Uh, never mind me. I just popped in to fuck your wife. <laughs> 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 like, you know, throw him off and then grab the rake and leave. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the rake. Weird, yeah. So uh, the darnest thing happened while you were away. Your garage door flung open and a dozen women in tattered clothes ran out and down the block. <laughs> Do you still have my rake? <laughs> <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> 
Good news, I found my rake. <laughs> Bad news is your house is haunted. <laughs> <laughs> your front door uh, flew open and coughed out all your old porn collection about 20 minutes ago, you know? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck was going on there. <laughs> That needs a rewrite, but yeah, that's all I got. It's bravo, bravo, Brian Hersey. (laughs) Sarah, it's your turn. Uh, You have been asked to feed a friend's fish while they're away. Uh, When they come back, all the fish are dead. This one's personal. Uh, uh, What's your excuse? Oh, okay. Well, they killed themselves. (laughs) (laughs) They got so sad you left and they could not go on living. (laughs) Or... Uh, yeah, they were just like intermittent fasting and they went too long. <laughs> it was Gandhi uh, fish. <laughs> yeah. Gandhi, Gandhi, fish. Gandhi fish. Uh, they were part of a cult and then it was time to cross over. <laughs> uh, I think we're in the middle of a biblical apocalypse and all the fish are dying. <laughs> <laughs> but don't go outside because it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's frogs and stuff. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So those are it. That's perfect. There's, co- there's a cult theme going we on. We need there. to yeah, talk yeah. to these fish and, and, and see if they can see if we can convince <laughs> them to stay in the game long enough and see if they're strong. Yeah. Yeah. That's we got to talk to these on the fish water. about their strength. <laughs> 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 All right, we got one more. Uh, does anyone else need another shot before we continue? Absolutely. Uh, one so. segment left. You have already finished your other two beverages. Um, let's round. Hey, I got my. I just got my DUI case dismissed. So, Yay. oh, congratulations! Boy is celebrating. <laughs> Celebrate with a drink. I'm on a bender. Tell them uh, as we toast. Where? Let's figure out where to find you guys on all things social media, so folks know. Um, let's start with you, Brian. Where would they go? Uh, I'm trying to get my Instagram going. It's uh, Herzy H U R Z I E. <laughs> So yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, I just started. Really just started like it's yeah, a startup. Company. Yeah, it's a startup, man. <laughs> it's yeah. meta. We got yeah. some interest in my Instagram. It's uh, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna uh, be coming out. Yeah. <laughs> Poncho claws as well. I'm gonna get. It. Okay, yeah. you've, you've made it. You'll get it. You'll get a birthday post. <laughs> <laughs> Number one comedy supporter. Man. You're in a he good shape. Awesome, uh, like guy. Grady, you're available at all things. Or are you just at Pruitt Grady yeah, on yeah. social media? Anything else you're pimping aside from uh, this Skank Fest uh, 12 shows you're doing in three hours? Or oh, I just o'clock. now started posting like clips of my stand-up on YouTube. So uh, look me up on YouTube. Uh, I'll be posting clips there. Perfect. Just, your, yeah. just your name? Grady Pruitt? Pruitt, yeah. Pruitt Grady. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Sarah, have you, uh, have, you, have you almost started posting stuff on the Internet yet as well? <laughs> yeah. The, the I'm on MySpace. No, I, I posted a couple. <laughs> I'm, st- I'm starting a cult of people yeah. who haven't quite yet figured out what the Internet can Did do. Did you yeah. say cult? You guys <laughs> 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 what, uh, I know you're on Twitter at S. Talamash. Yeah, I'm on all forms of social media. It's the same as Twitter, at Stalamash. And TikTok I love. Yeah. Instagram I love. Uh, and then find me on YouTube as well. Your YouTube has uh, your, your specials yes. in there. Voluptuous Boy, it's available for free. It's the entire yeah. special. And uh, t- it's beautiful. I, I watched that special. It's hilarious. I uh, watched it all the way through. You. And oh, I, I never that. watched specials all the way through. Well, so the analytics say differently. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The analytics. <laughs> <laughs> big drop off. <laughs> Uh, definitely go find them, follow them, and uh, of course we're on things collectively uh, at the Whiskey I like Brothers. The umbrella bit. Oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah, that was very Every, good. Yeah, it's, everybody's got a favorite bit. Um, Trey was talking about it last night. Uh, oh, nice. Segment five. This is it. This is my favorite one. Uh, we're doing dead comedians. Some of these just died, so it's fresh. Uh, it's not like you guys could have been sitting on these for too long. Uh, who wants to? I'm going to end with you. I think. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's cool. So across the table, uh, let's go. Brian, you chose. We were go- we were gonna do somebody different, and then Mort Saul passed away. Yeah, Mort Saul. And uh, a fantastic comic uh, that a lot of people probably don't even know about. He goes back to the genesis of kind of. Yeah, he was, he was the first comic on uh, Time Magazine, uh, held as the uh, first comedy album ever made. Yeah. I uh, uh, worked for 15 years with Lenny Bruce. He's basically, his concept, is, his style was pretty much the basis of uh, of all uh, <laughs> monologue comedy, you know? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? You know, like no, I just didn't know we were going to a Netflix doc. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know. What the fuck? <laughs> the man's dead, for Christ's sakes. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, Brian killing his problems with whiskey. That's uh, <laughs> he also has he also has a name that doesn't exist anymore. Mort. Mort. There's no nine year old's yeah. name Mort. Yeah, <laughs> like in that Simpsons episode yeah. that one time when Bart's <laughs> trying to find his name. There's so, a Mort. So you have uh, you've you've picked Mort. We've given you Mort, and uh, I'm interested to see uh, what he would sound like. Today, so, yeah. Well, he's, well, you're not going to hear what he sounds like. Well, you I don't know what I, the mate, the material, <laughs> and that nobody should. But the material yeah. itself will recognize. Yeah, no. Well, I mean, well, his whole thing was uh, esoteric juxta- juxtaposition, basically. You know, so he would be out. He would be out with. I'll, the, I'll, I'll pause and go. <laughs> <right>. <laughs> esoteric juxtaposition. Yeah, right. It's, it always makes I'm me think. Look of, that up. It reminds me of the uh, that Tom Hester joke. It's like butt pug. Put the words together and figure out what the fuck <laughs> it does. <laughs> if you can't, I can't help I know, you. Man. So yeah, I was going to start with like I mean, just to. His his comedy was uh, was different. Like he was over. Give us an example. He was yes. That's what I was gonna do. <laughs> I was gonna give you an example, man. So he's yeah. over. He's overseas. He's talking to Michael Caine. Michael Caine sees him over there. He goes, uh, Mort Saul, what are you doing uh, over here in England? He's like, uh, the experiment failed. We're all back now. You know, that's the kind of <laughs> like all the Americans are gonna come back. That's that's, that's the kind that's of humor. Actually. That's why nobody remembers him. <laughs> 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 You'd be I feel like, like yours uh, is hard. I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah it, is, well, it is hard. I didn't give him Mort Saul. I gave him Red Fox. Yeah, yeah, which would have been easy because I yeah. would have been sitting here, you know, telling Kill it. dick jokes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Titty <laughs> fucking. Uh, yeah. No, <laughs> I, like, this is this is the story of my ex. Give me the thing that is going yeah. to be the most difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah. saw you taking <laughs> off your blackface in your car. I was yeah. like, oh, why are they doing that? Yeah, oh, yeah but it's God. like, it's, yeah. that was just a mask. That was one yeah. of those yeah. wrinkle cream masks. Halloween was yesterday, <laughs> Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I had it, man. Yeah, so he worked with Lenny Bruce. Like, I mean, one of his jokes uh, might have been, you know, uh, I just got back with Lenny Bruce, and boy, are his arms tired from shooting all the heroin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so I was trying to write in the voice of uh, of Mort Saul for the stuff that's going on right now. Uh, the Supreme Court started a new session where Clarence Thomas talked for the first time since he was appointed. But it was just to complain about his soft drink. <laughs> <laughs> Something was on the can. I don't know. It's too old. Yeah, it's getting. <laughs> Queen Elizabeth has been in poor health. Her doctor uh, told her to stay in for two weeks, then came out. And uh, then she can come out, and if she sees her shadow, stay in for another four <laughs> weeks. So that's, that's the kind of thing. <laughs> Pfizer vaccine was just approved for children, and not to be outdone, Johnson and Johnson vaccine is adding a bag of cookies. You keep trying. You keep trying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Damn. That fucking epilogue was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> I still got one more, but I probably shouldn't read it. But, uh, yeah. uh, that, 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 felt, that felt like a closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah that felt like a closer. Yeah. I'll put the rest on Discord. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good job, Brian Hersey, All bringing right. Mort Saul back to life. Sarah, you've been gifted Joan Rivers. Uh, I don't know if that's the proper term or not. Yeah. Uh, gifted. Sure. Rest in peace, Joan. I know. All right. Yeah. I don't know. I'd like I wish I could attempt. It's just like, oh, <laughs> that's how I picture her in my yeah, mind. It's very loud. <laughs> yeah, it's just very loud. Uh, I went to have surgery. I told them to make me look like Liz Taylor. So they killed me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on my tombstone, it says Joan Rivers, June 8th, 1933 to September 4th, 2014. In my face, 1987 to 2014. <laughs> 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 and then I went from resting bitch face to resting eternally face. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Uh, Thank you. Good night. Hey. <laughs> All your outfits I suck. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be here ever again. Sarah. Oh. Sarah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do an extra 10 minutes oh yeah she has a daughter named melissa <laughs> i should have done a melissa joke yes yeah, yeah. that's fun. I, I, is that show hbo show hacks based on her it feels like it's oh, yeah, Joan probably rivers yeah. yeah ask uh grady you have been handed the most recently dead i uh, know wait yeah Who? more so more recent more so more recent but norm but, funnier but yeah <laughs> norm, norm probably wrote a more recent you, yeah. you knew of norm recently more yes. recently. Yeah, yeah. Right. More recently. More, more was not getting out there the last yeah. 20 years. No. Uh, nevertheless, you have gotten Norm MacDonald, who I also know is your favorite comedian. He is my favorite comedian. So, so no yeah, pressure. Okay. Don't Let fuck me this up. butcher Norm. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, so I was at the... Uh, 
Is that the uh, supermarket there, you know? You know the <laughs> supermarket, you know? With all the products, you know? Uh, labels facing the same way, you know? And by God, what do I see there? Uh, liquid death. Hey, <laughs> 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 you see this? They took death. <laughs> you know everyone loves the sweet release of death. <laughs> And they put it into a liquid form. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm drinking it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, you know what goes good with this death? A scone. <laughs> 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 and then uh, I go there, I go on the, uh, the tweeter there, you know, we go to tweet, you know. <laughs> And I see someone says, all white people are evil. And I said, that's not good. <laughs> 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 On the account of I'm a white guy, you know? <laughs> I got one more. <laughs> 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 you know, we come from a, uh, we come from a, uh, a, a country that's so bigoted, you know? And it, it was a point in time. It's, it's hard to believe this in today's enlightened times. <laughs> There's a common time where, uh, you know, if a baby was born... With a penis, the doctor would say, It's a boy. Doug Dalton on the whiskey. <laughs> 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 Doug Dalton. <laughs> <laughs> Grady Pruitt doing yeah. Norm MacDonald. Oh my God, I know they're dying. Um, yeah. <laughs> Ah, I wish this wasn't over. Um, I think it's over. We're sadly at the end. Uh, uh, unless you want to do that last Mort Saul line. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, um, thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, Grady Pruitt doing Norm MacDonald. Uh, Sarah Talamash in town for a brief moment. It's good to have you here. Brian Hersey, our constant friend. Uh, you should spend more time in the studio. Uh, you guys in the back of house, everybody's here, but uh, Trey and Jerry Wayne Longmire are probably putting all these prompts together every single week and pressing buttons and showing up. Trey, you got any uh, unthought thoughts back there? <laughs> yeah, he's on medication. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I <laughs> actually can I d can I do my favorite Norm Macdonald bit? No, we're uh no, no go ahead. Okay. No, okay, of course you can do it. So this is a Off bit. Uh, <laughs> this is my favorite Norm Macdonald bit. <laughs> this impression it is just, so good. It's just a little backstory. When me and Trey were new at comedy, this is our favorite Norm bit too. And if we were on a show together and I was bombing, I would just start doing this <laughs> bit. <laughs> To make Trey in the background like fucking laugh, so this is my favorite Norm Macdonald bit. Uh, uh, so I was uh, I go to meet my buddy, you know, uh, at a coffee shop, and then when I get there, he has a giant pumpkin for a head. <laughs> and I had to go, by God, what the fuck happened to you, buddy? And he said, uh, he said, you'll never believe this, but I, I met a genie, <laughs> and, and the genie uh, uh, said he'd grant me three wishes. And then uh, on his first wish, uh, on my first wish, I asked for a beautiful lady, <laughs> and I got her. And then uh, on my second wish, I asked for $100 million, and I got that. And I was like, yeah, then what happened? He goes, well, then uh, on my third wish, and this is why I really blew it. <laughs> 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 I asked for a giant pumpkin for a head. <laughs> 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 That's my favorite joke. I don't remember hearing him do that. <laughs> yeah. That's fucking funny. Though. That's fantastic. Uh, any parting thoughts before you guys get out of here? I've got nothing else to say. Uh, you'll be back. Uh, you're always welcome. You're on Friday's episode. If folks haven't had a chance to see it yet, Grady, you are uh, off to New York. We look forward to having you back here when you move back. Uh, <laughs> hey. I'm kidding. You're gonna yeah. kick. You're you're one of the people. We we have like a pool going, and pool. Yeah. only three survive. of y'all are gonna make it, <laughs> and uh, you're one of them. Okay. So so well, all th I, I like the crew I'm going with. Everyone's funny. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. There's no it's dead weight. No 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 no. You guys are gonna be fantastic. Uh, thank you for doing this. For you get out the door. You can uh, follow all these guys on their social media or through our social media. Uh, thanks for hanging out. This has been. Is this thing on? <laughs>